The 9x39 user is one of the most fascinating species to inhabit the landscape of Tarkov. Not long ago, their populations were so depleted that they came very near to extinction. They made a slow return in recent times, but this wipe has seen the near full rejuvenation of their numbers. Come along with me and explore how these wonderful creatures are thriving within this new world. The evolution of a 9x39 user most often begins when a PMC pulls a VSS off of a dead scav. After it is repaired, the VSS is a strong and capable weapon, even when unmodded. The ammo, however, is severely lacking. SP5 is the cartridge employed in this early phase, and it only carries Amiga 28 penetration. On the other hand, it deals a whopping 71 damage, making it a premier cartridge for hunting poorly armored scabs. In addition, SP5 is subsonic, which, coupled with the suppressed VSS, results in a whisper quiet weapon. This makes it nigh impossible for prey to locate a VSS user before they meet their end. The major drawback to this is exceptionally poor performance at range. No, the VSS is best up close, but the poor penetration of SP5 makes these close encounters quite dangerous. To guarantee a kill, the VSS user most often requires a headshot. As they have not yet found their niche, these specimens can be found all over the Tarkov province. The 9x39 user is one of the slowest advancing species in the region. It reaches stage 2 only upon obtaining proper level 4, where it is then able to purchase SPP. Unfortunately, it will spend a majority of its time at this screen waiting for the reset while it will purchase its limit of ammo. SPP is sold out within 10 minutes, and missing it means waiting another 3 hours for the next reset. SPP provides a marginal increase in penetration, opening up greater opportunity when hunting PMCs. As such, the species becomes far more aggressive at this stage. There are three different weapons that may be used, a modified VSS, the 9A91, and the VSK-94. The VSK and 9A91 are newcomers to this land, and provide greater ergonomics at the cost of worse recoil. The range issues that haunt the VSS user are only exacerbated. Fighting in the open is possible, but it's a hell of a gamble. Thank you. 
Up close, however, they are absolutely devastating. Buildings are their favored stalking grounds, allowing them to swing their prey, unload their payload, and scamper off again. They find the most success with these hit-and-run tactics due to their high rate of fire and low magazine capacity. A sustained fight is again very risky. This stage also sees the beginning of the Ego Swing, where the creature will attack from an unfavorable position simply to prove their superiority. The 9A91 and VSK are quite formidable creatures within close quarters. However, the minimal ergo advantage they provide, coupled with their abysmal performance at range, makes it difficult for them to compete with their more versatile cousins such as the VSS and AS Val. As such, it will be an uphill battle for them to carve out their own place within these harsh lands. The evolution of the 9x39 user culminates with the AS Val, a species that was once nearly extinct but has made a spectacular comeback. The Val combines the ergo benefits of the VSK, but with the laser beam accuracy of the VSS. The most significant change is a lethal new combination of ammo and capacity. Though SP6 is sometimes used, PAB9 is a much more common sight. In addition, the 30-round magazines are now used, a seemingly small addition of 10 rounds, but one that carries massive consequence. The Val user is one of Tarkov's most devastating specimens. Whether it is a well-equipped Chad or a gearless Timmy, they will push with the same ferocity and malice. It is here that the Ego Swing becomes a common sight. They are superior, and they know it, and they will flex that upon any creature who enters their domain. The only real defense against a Val user is range. The Val mitigates some issues, but overall remains fairly limited at longer distances. If their silent gunshots can be heard, then you are already too close, and should seek any escape route possible. They are versatile creatures though, and if their prey eludes them, it will not do so for long.
In summary, the 9x39 user begins as a decently effective hunter and ends as one of the greatest brawlers in the Tarkov region. Whilst the 9A91 and VSK still must find their place in these lands, they yield great potential. In the fierce competition for survival in Tarkov, that potential must be quickly realized, lest they be left behind by their VSS and Val cousins. Only time will tell what the land of Tarkov has in store for these magnificent creatures.